Hello and welcome, my name is Colin, call sign MM0OPX and in this video we're going to be taking a look at what I think is the best 10 metre fibreglass pole for amateur radio. Now this is the Life's a Breeze 10 metre professional pole and I think it, it provides the best value that you're going to get uh, in, in purchasing such a thing. Now unfortunately you cannot buy this pole, maybe not strictly true but you can't, current, currently, you cannot buy this pole from Life Sabres because they don't have any stock and they're likely not to have any stock until April or May of 2023. Now, I didn't intend on buying this pole. Normally these poles retail at £59.95 plus £6 uh, postage and packaging, so £66 shipped. And let me tell you, that is an absolute steal for this, um, taking into account um, how it's built, um, the quality of it. Now, they had an end of season sale, they dropped that by £10, so it was £49.95. Um, I gave some people fair warning on Twitter. Three days later, there's still some of these available, so I decided I'm going to have one. Now, uh, since 2019, I've been using Life Sabres. Uh, I already have four of their six metre poles and I can't rate them highly enough. The six metre poles, I, I like to run 40 metres on them because I, I linear load with it. And I've actually had these in almost hurricane force, I'm saying 80, 90 mile an hour winds, guide at the bottom only, and they're absolutely great. Now, how do you, you know, how do you evaluate such a pole? Um, so, you know, ov obviously these opinions are my own, but to give you some comparison, I've got another couple of poles here that, 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 that we can use, you know, just purely as a comparison. I'm not saying that either of these poles are bad. I have them and I use them. So, you know, they, they all have their uses. So we've got the spider beam. This is the 10 meter travel pole. Again, it's, it's very short, so it's good for going in your suitcase. Um, and then we also have the DX Commander classic 10 meter pole. And I should note that this pole is actually much lighter than these other two. So if weight's your primary concern, this is probably the one that you want to go for. But that will depend on your application. Um, I just want to do some little comparisons and you, you can decide for yourself, but I think that this is an absolute stonking pole. Now, actually looking at, you know, just pure length of the pole, um, you can just see that the, the Life's a Breeze is just over 1.2 metres with the DX Commander, just a little bit shy of that and obviously a spider beam just over 70 centimetres there. Let's go and take a look at the weight next. What we'll actually do is go in reverse order here and we'll have a look at the spider beam first. Nearly 2.3 kilos. We'll then have a look at the DX Commander. Just under 1.4 kilos, and then let's look at the life's a breeze. Two point three. So you can see that it's, it's quite a similar weight to the uh, the spider beam pole. So now we're going to look at wall thicknesses here. Now I'm not actually going to measure these, but if we look down at the spider beam, you can actually see that it's it's. I would say it's probably the most. Um, consistent of all three poles. Oops a daisy. If we look at the Life Sabres on the left and the DX Commander on the right, they actually look similar construction, but the you know the, the wall thickness on the Life Sabres is certainly much thicker over the DX Commander. Certainly when you look when you get to the thinner sections, you can see that we're still really thick. Now let's go and have a look at the tips. Another important consideration is, is what actually is the tips like on the end of these poles here. So you can see top to bottom, DX Commander, Life's a Breeze and Spider Beam 10 meter. If you look at the DX Commander, you can see that it's actually got a very, very thin solid tip, but it's got this nice little eye on there. So if you just want to run like a, a vertical, you know, wire antenna, this is ideal and probably actually all that you need. If you look at the Spider Beam, sorry, the Life's a Breeze, you can see that it's got this pole, this is about 10 millimetre diameter thickness, you've got this nice ferrule on the top and you've got this nice little hook that actually spins, it should spin a bit freer than that, but you know these are actually designed for, for wind socks um, and, and the likes, so if you want to run coax up it then you could probably do it with this, but you're not going to run Beowater running coax up the DX Commander. 
Again, looking at the spider beam, this has got a, this is the only one that's actually got a through bottom, so you could put a wire right up the top. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the DX Commander, but it's probably not um, good enough if you actually want to run coax up it. You would need to remove a section or two, as with you could do with the DX Commander. And I've actually done that. I've actually used it to support. Um, you know, coax, all you need to do is remove a section or two uh, and you're good to go. Another important consideration is actually how long is the pole. So I've now got these fully extended, all three of these, and I've not actually pulled them out to the full extent, but I've been fair with them all and I've given them a gentle tug so all sections are extended, but again, you probably get another centimetre or two or three if you were to pull them a bit further. So let's go and see. What do you think before we get to the end here? What's the shortest? What's the longest? So there we go. Small, medium and large. So on the bottom here, this is the DX Commander. So this is sitting on just under 9.6 metres. The life's a breeze, 9.76 on the likes. And the uh, Spider Beam, which is 9.94. So None of these are actually 10 metres. Um, perhaps you might get the spider beam if you pull it out a bit further, but you know, they say 10 metre pole, but typically what you find is they're actually just that little bit shorter. So depending what you need to do, you might need to fold a little wire back, or you know, you may think you may, you may want to helically, lined, helically wind your wire if you're using a vertical, but again, it's just another little comparison. So that's just some basic comparisons between this, the Life's a Breeze, the Spider Beam and the, the, the DX Commander. All of these poles have their uses, so I'm not favouring one over another. I'm just saying my personal view for my personal use case, I think that this is the best value taking into what, you know, what these cost. And at, you know, I paid £50 for this, a bargain, but even paying with a delivery charge here in the UK of £66, this is a bargain of a pole. Um, you know, how I like to use them, I'll just show you this and hopefully that could show up there. So you can see these Jubilee clips and a little bit of rubber underneath them. And this is Mastrant M three millimeter uh, uh, rope. Now, the reason that there's two of everything, because again, the old saying is uh, two is one and, and one is none. Now, some people have commented in my previous videos saying, don't do that, you're crushing the pole. Let me tell you, I am not crushing this pole in any way, shape or form. What I do is, I use nitrile rubber, and I'll actually take this off here for you. So we maybe give you a better view. I actually use four millimeter nitrile rubber underneath here, and I just tighten these Jubilee clips in no more. So I'm not actually crushing the pole, I'm just uh, screwing them up so they actually just take up the shape. And that's important because you do not want to use any sort of clamps um, on, on, on fiberglass poles. And I basically mount this um, at a low level. Obviously, this is 1.2 millimeter, uh, 1.2 meters long. So I, with a pole like this, I'm quite confident for short periods of time of actually just guying it at this lower level and, and using it as is, not having to worry about guying it further up, which is, which is great. Um, and if you've been following the channel, you know that I've been using this for my 10 meter Moxon antenna. And that antenna, the total weight of that is about 1.2 kilos, 1100 and something grams. And I'm actually using this at six meters off the ground, the Moxon clamped onto the six meter point been guying at the bottom with nothing else. And I think that's quite incredible that I can actually do that. I think I could do that with these other poles. I need to see what sort of height I can get away with. But the first time I actually was trying that, there was a there was a gentle breeze, maybe a stiff breeze, and the moxon was staying fine and the pole was handling um, absolutely great. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that you can't actually buy this pole at the minute. Not strictly true. There's another um, company here in the UK called Lamco, which are down in Yorkshire. They actually advertise a pole. It's the same colour. The pictures look absolutely identical. It's got the same eye, so I can only assume that it's the same antenna, but don't take my word for it. And at the time of recording this video, they're asking £90 for this uh, fiberglass pole. I think that's too much. If you're going to spend £90 for a pole that's not even quite 10 metres, by the spider beam. The spider beam 12 meter pole, I think now is either 100 or 110 pounds, euros, so much the same. 
And that, to me, really is the gold standard. But when you take um, the, the, the spider beam, it's 100, 100 or 110, and you take this at 60, there really is no contest. But as horses for courses, you, you really need to decide what you want to do with the antenna. Um, getting into the hobby, I remember what it was like um, 10 years ago, you know, you really, if you buy cheap, you buy twice, and I did that. I bought a couple of poles that were £35 each off um, eBay, and they were just absolutely junk. But when I finally broke down and bought my first spider beam pole, and it was expensive, it was painful, I never looked back. You know, and I've got a little bit of a thing for fiberglass poles, I've got quite a collection. Um, I'll put a link to a video down in the description I did a, a couple of years ago now, and it's a little overview, although I don't have this one in it, but it gives you a basic overview of the poles that I have, a little comparison and, and some ideas for you. But if you're new to the hobby, you know, this is definitely a pole to get, <laughs> but unfortunately you can't buy it from Life's a Breeze at, a minute, at the minute. They only get one delivery a year. I have confirmed this with them. Um, but what they actually did with me last year, because I had said I had already had two meters, two six meter poles, I wanted another two. And what they said was, if you'd like, we can let you know when they arrive. And they did that. They actually let, let me know before they went live on the website. Um, uh, and you know, I was able to purchase a couple of days later and I got my ten, uh, six meter poles. So it, it's worth getting in contact with Life Sabres. I'll, put a link down in the description, might not be able to get a link to the direct page of these because they're out of stock, but I'll certainly give you a link to the website, um, you know, and please, you know, set a reminder in your phone, calendar, whatever, you know, start checking from perhaps April, maybe even March, get in contact with them about the NSA, look, you'd like to buy one of these poles, can you let me know when they come in stock and buy one? So there we are, folks, again, you may have a different opinion for me, if you have one of these, let me know, tell me what you think. If you have a different poll altogether, let me know what you think. What is your application? And again, for me, this is certainly the most versatile. I can support structures at a decent height with it. I can run coax up with it. I could put a ballon up it, up it, you know? So for me, it's really good. Um, it's, it's heavier, you know, the, when I look at the DX Commander, it's actually really light. So if you want to go something walking, then the DX Commander's probably a bit better, just from a, from a weight point of view. But I will let you decide. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.